Hey guys, that Donald Inspector again. Today we're going to be talking about island fixture venting, also known as the bow vent, also known as Chicago Loop. I'm going to call it the island fixture vent because I enforce the International Residential Code, and that's how it's referred to in the code. Um, first and foremost, an island fixture vent is for use in an island. Uh, you can use it only with sinks and with lavatories but it has to be in an island. This is not an island. Granted the ceiling is vaulted this wall does not continue all the way up to the ceiling but the plumber did have the option of going horizontally through the wall to the outside wall and finding his way out. The outside walls are 2 by 4 he's using a 2 inch pipe uh, he would have overboard the studs. Difficult situation. This is not my number one solution, but in the interest of being reasonable, uh, I would entertain it. Now, other than that, we also need to know some terminology before we can actually implement an island fixture vent. Now, this red highlighted pipe, that's the drain that's receiving uh, the waste from the lavatory. This green highlighted pipe is the vent. It's only conveying air. There should never be any waste in that pipe. Uh, incidentally, this white pipe over in the corner, this two inch pipe, that is a continuation of this vent pipe. And this actually goes all the way up through the roof. Now this red line I've drawn here that's the flood level rim of the fixture. Uh, that's the level which, if you filled the lavatory up, it would overflow and go onto the floor. That's the point at which the lavatory is full of water, ready to overflow. That's this red line. This green line is the drain outlet. Uh, this is the point at which waste leaves the lavatory, enters the tailpiece. Um, if you went to Home Depot, bought a new stainless steel kitchen sink, and it has that hole in the bottom of the sink, that's this green line. That's the level right here. Uh, and these two levels are important to know. Um, this red line, this flood level rim, um, this vent pipe has to extend at least six inches above this line before it tied into a, a vent terminal. Now, this one goes all the way up to the roof, that's fine, but say you're going to tie this 2-inch pipe into this 4-inch pipe. This is actually an exhaust pipe, not a plumbing pipe, but um, if you were going to tie it into a different stack, go horizontal with it, you would have to be at least 6 inches above this line before you did that. Otherwise, it has to be vertical. Um, this green line, the outlet, um, the bow vent has to extend at least above this level. So this little u-turn here would have to be at least above this line I mean this is way above that which is fine I have no issue with that but it would have to be at least above this line so that's important to know these two levels because when you're reading the code if you have no idea what these levels are you can't conform to the code both of these requirements are in uh, P3112.2 Here's a picture from below. Again, uh, I highlighted the pipe in red for the waste. And this does not resemble any picture of an island fixture vent that you will find on the internet, at least that I can find. Um, we all know what the typical island vent looks like. Um, incidentally, some of the photos I've found online, some of the diagrams are not correct. I shouldn't say they're not correct. They don't comply with the International Residential Code. They may conform to the Uniform Plumbing Code, um, which I believe California is the only one using that. So I won't say it's incorrect, but it doesn't comply with the International Residential Code. And here we have the vent pipe from the Island Fixture Vent, the green highlighted pipe. Again, this is an interesting one because this piping arrangement does not resemble anything I've ever seen for a fixture vent. Um, but I couldn't say for sure whether or not it complied without actually grabbing the book. 
this is the shower receptor right here. Um, this is conveying waste from the shower down the pipes, picking up the lab, which is fine. Continuing on. This is supposed to be a dry vent for the uh, shower drain. Um, it's wrong for a couple of reasons, at least three reasons. Uh, first of all, this island fixture vent, as I stated before, can only be used for an island fixture. You, you can't tap into this line. It's, it's dedicated solely to venting that island fixture. Uh, you could vent multiple island fixtures. You know, if you have a large kitchen island with a, a prep sink and, and a main kitchen sink, you can vent both of those island fixtures with a single vent. Um, but you can't pick up other fixtures with this vent. So that's problem number one. The second problem with this uh, dry vent for the shower, which you can't see because of the perspective of the photo, is that this Y is flat. Uh, this dry vent is connecting into the side of this drain. Um, the dry vent always has to connect above the midline of the drain, which means this Y uh, always needs to be turned at least 45 degrees up. Vertical is even better, but at least 45 degrees up. Uh, if you look at the definitions of vertical pipe, is defined as uh, 45 degrees or better. Um, the second issue is you cannot go horizontal with this dry vent until you are at least six inches above the flood rim of the fixture. So, you know, there's a shower pan. Uh, let's say the flood level rim is uh, four inches above the floor. You know, the curb is four inches high. So you couldn't go horizontal with this dry vent until you, you're at least ten inches above the floor. Um, I routinely see dry vents below the floor. It's impossible to do that. There's no way to run a dry vent below the floor of the fixture it's serving. So, we're tapped into the island fixture vent, not permitted. This is on the flat, not permitted. The dry vent doesn't rise vertically uh, to six inches above the flood rim. And here we have, again, this is the green, the vent, the air continues on, connects to the drain here, and then continues on, and then it goes up, and we saw that uh, in the other photo. Now, this is pretty good. Um, this island fixture vent uh, has to connect to the top of a horizontal drain pipe, which it's doing. Uh, it can also connect to the side. Like, you know, it could connect to the side of this if this is a vent pipe. Uh, but so this is all right. Um, the problem, or the next problem, is there are no cleanouts in this pipe. Uh, P3112.3 requires that cleanouts be provided in the island fixture vent so that you can rod the entire island fixture vent every single piece of it and that's one of the issues I see with some of the photos online is that they put the cleanout below the drain for the fixture uh, you can't rod the vent that way you can rod the drain that way um, Maybe you could get a snake up through that bow and back down, but I don't really think that's the intent of the code. So uh, this woman needs a, a clean out in here somewhere. Uh, you can rod in both directions, so it could be in the center of the pipe, um, but he definitely needs a clean out. Uh, the other thing is that he's used a short sweep to make this turn here. Um, this connection is a T, uh, and again another short sweep going up. Um, you can't use that in this piping. You would have to use a long sweep, um, which is not an easy requirement to figure out. Um, again, P3112.3 says the vent 
uh, is sized in accordance with regular venting, but it says the vent is installed as required for drainage piping. So it's sized in accordance with vent piping, but it's installed in accordance with drainage piping. And if you look at the table for drainage piping, you'll see that um, a two inch pipe is only permitted to use a short sweep when it's a fixture drain. This is not a fixture drain, it's a vent pipe, so it eliminates the option of using a short sweep. It has to be a long sweep, which makes sense because if you have to rod the pipe, the plumber, the next plumber, will thank you for using long sweeps so they can get through there. Uh, the other thing is this T. T's are permitted for back-to-back -back fixtures uh, having similar discharge. You know, I would accept it. There's no way to really rod this section of pipe, but you know, I wouldn't make him replace it if that's the only thing he had to do. I would prefer to see um, double Y with a clean out on top so you could rod it from the top you know down into here and then you of course have the sweeps here so you'd be able to do this whole pipe you'd have to put another clean out here or above the floor to get that section but um, you know I if that was the only issue I wouldn't make them rip it out and put a Y in there because the back-to-back -back connection is acceptable in some situations um, Again, this is a drain, no problems here. Uh, use nice sweeps. I mean, overall, the plumber did a decent job, workmanlike. Um, this problem could really be solved by just eliminating this connection here. I mean, now he's got a problem because the shower is not vented. But as far as the island fixture vent, if he just eliminated that that shower connection, connection to the shower vent, quote unquote. Um, this would comply. I mean, he has to put the clean outs in, but he's pretty close. Uh, again, the plumber did a nice job. Definitely working like, definitely took his time figuring things out, but if you don't read the code, you can't comply with it. And here's the sections that I was quoting. Uh, so you can write them down, print them out. Uh, all the codes are online, so if you need to. Uh, copy of anything from the code you can find the international codes online from the international code council and you print it out at home all right thanks for listening